Mr. Lin Chuan Po, Chairman of ASTAR, Mr. Dr. Lu Chun Yong, Chairman of JTC, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Back, happy to be back here in Fusionopolis today to launch Fusionopolis 2. R&D has become very important to our economy because it helps us to renew our industries, create new markets. It helps our companies, particularly the small ones, to upgrade their productivity. It creates good jobs for workers. And through new products and services, it improves the lives of Singaporeans. We've been steadily investing in R&D for many years now, and we've made good progress. Companies have tapped on our public research institutes and done many joint projects with them. In the last four years, since 2011, ASTAR has undertaken over 7,400 industry projects, projects which have catalyzed more than a billion dollars in industry R&D investments. And as you heard just now, we've partnered both global leaders and local enterprises like PNG, Applied Materials, L'Oreal, General Electric, DBS, Sing Power, Co Brothers, and also Mr. Bean. Not the comedian, but the shop selling <laughs> bean curd milk. And startups in Singapore have more than doubled in the last decade, from 24,000 in 2005 to 55,000 last year. The Global Entrepreneurship Index now ranks us as the 10th most entrepreneurial country in the world, which is not bad. And we, our number of research scientists and engineers has increased six times over the last 25 years, and we now have 32,000 of them. We are seeing applications of all this to our daily life. For example, we're doing R&D on urban design to reduce urban heat generated. We've launched a Smart Nation program to apply the fruits of R&D and technology in transportation, in healthcare, and in education. And that's why we decided to create an RN research and innovation hub here in One North to take advantage of co-location to foster closer collaboration between private enterprises and public research institutes. And seven years ago, we launched Fusionopolis One, and I'm glad that One North has now become a vibrant and dynamic hub. We've brought together here two public research institutes, the Institute for Infocom Research and the Institute for High Performance Computing. And by putting them together, we've enhanced their capabilities and found more applications for their research. This integration has catalyzed many industry projects with companies like Singtel, DBS, Rolls-Royce, Lloyds, and Fujitsu. And because Biopolis and Fusionopolis are next to one another, they've brought together biomedical and science and engineering capabilities and seeded new areas of research and business. A few months ago, we opened Launchpad next door. Launchpad is an incubator for startups in different industries like electronics, engineering, biomedical, infocom, and media industries. And putting it near Fusionopolis and Biopolis will help startups and Launchpad to tap on R&D for their own needs. Today, we are taking the next step and launching Fusionopolis 2, bringing together four more public research institutes, the Data Storage Institute, the Singapore Institute of Manufacturing Technology, the Institute of Materials Research and Engineering, and the Institute of Microelectronics in order to join the two institutes which are already here in Fusionopolis 1. And this will help us to marshal and to integrate all the capabilities we need to support the future of manufacturing, or at least the future of manufacturing in Singapore. Already, manufacturing is being transformed by digital technologies, such as the Internet of Things, data fusion, greater automation, and new methods of manufacturing, such as additive manufacturing. So with this project, we will be able to build and integrate capabilities, for example, in material science, chemistry, semiconductor processing, computational modeling, and machine design. 
to support multinationals and SMEs. For example, in the electronic sector, applied materials will work with three of ASTAR's research institutes here in Fusionopolis, and they've just established a new $150 million joint lab between applied materials and ASTAR on semiconductor research, which they've just announced this morning. One North is now home to over 250 companies and more than 600 startups, with 16 public research institutes, five corporate universities and IHLs. And specifically in the Biopolis and Fusionopolis, we house a working population of 16,000, including scientists, researchers, and innovators. So the whole estate has become a vibrant research, residential, and student hub with commercial developments and new MRT lines. All that is just the infrastructure. But to make our R&D and innovation hub work, we need the ideas, the initiative, and a strong network of enterprises and institutions, driven by the spirit of research and entrepreneurship, where enterprises and people are never satisfied with the world as it is, and constantly stay, strive to improve and are forever hungry and bold. So after this, I'm looking forward to riding in a self-drive car, which our research agencies have developed. Not quite on par with Google's self-drive car yet, but we are getting there. And we've managed to come thus far with our agencies doing it on, it, on their own within the last nine months. If we take it further and develop a network of such vehicles, then we can have self-driving vehicles bringing Singaporeans to the nearest bus interchange or MRT station. We can solve commute problems, relieve congestion on the roads, and help our businesses to become more efficient. And some businesses are already doing that. For example, PSA already is piloting the use of, auton of autonomous vehicles in their container yards. But for innovations like self-driving cars to succeed, you need not just the technology. Many different pieces have to come together. The regulation, the infrastructure, the network planning, and the working with a population to experiment with and to adapt to these new gizmos. And that in Singapore is where our opportunity lies. Because we are a small country, we have one level of government, we can bring all these pieces together and the research institutes and enterprises and people can work together, find solutions to transform our lives, improve our livelihoods, upgrade our living spaces, to experiment and push the envelope with new ideas and testbed new solutions, get feedback quickly, improve the prototypes and iterate. And that's what we've been doing with R&D too. So I hope that with this new Fusionopolis tool, we will see bolder ideas, more innovation, and the feeling that the sky is the limit. So congratulations to all of you. Thank you.